What is going on guys? We are about a week away from the last live stream of the year from Intrepid, giving us an updated look at the Ranger archetype, which we last saw over a year ago, showcasing only five or six abilities. I can't remember how many exactly, along with the reveal for the Alpha 2 quarter. So it's gonna be a pretty exciting stream to end the year, but there are still a few things I want to see from this. When we first saw the Ranger back in July of last year or something like that, it was a pretty good initial showcase. It gave us a some basic abilities fighting some minotaurs in combat but that's all there was to it there wasn't much tied in with movement or traps or anything like that that were tied into a ranger class that you can expect something to help bridge the gap between you and the enemies a bit more which is something that i think we really need to see i think this ranger showcase really needs to focus on mobility of this character, really distancing themselves and putting space between you and your enemies. And I have a feeling that is going to be something we're going to see. In the last stream where they're going through the artisanship, we got a brief glimpse of the ranger in action and the mobility did look good. It looked a lot better than it has before. And if you looked on the ranger's action bar, you could see a few traps in there that I can imagine are going to help have some crowd control effect that will help slow enemies or snare them or stun them or anything along those lines. So I, it's looking good for that sort of thing. But the other thing tied into combat I want to see is the hybrid side of combat. We have heard over and over Ashes of Creation is a hybrid combat game. We It's a mixture of action and tab. And so far, we've really seen minimal sides of the action other than the auto attack. What I'm really hoping to see is some aimed range abilities where you're actually having to aim the bow, shoot the target, and things along those lines. And I think the Ranger class is the perfect class to get us a bit more of the action combat side of things. It seems Intrepid's going away from that style of combat. We saw the action combat bow in Apocalypse where you could actually aim the bow and shoot the arrows when you wish. But it honestly seems like Intrepid is still going away from this hybrid combat style system that they keep talking about. Even though every time it is brought up, Steven does say that it is still in progress. We're still working towards a hybrid style combat. So we'll really have to wait and see on that one, but I would, I'm very interested to see how Intrepid takes the Ranger combat and what they're going to show for and what makes it stand out. They also need to stick with what they've done best with the latest showcases with the Mage and the Cleric and give us a walkthrough of the Ranger abilities first. I think that works the best when they are standing there and they showcase each ability one at a time explaining what it does. I liked that breakdown a bit better than the previous one they've did last year where it's just running around and shooting things and you kind of just have to like like capture the tooltips to be able to figure out what the abilities do. But on the flip side of that, I want to see a bit more than just killing NPCs because we are nearing Alpha 2, things should be coming along. So it'd be really exciting to see a dungeon or a small elite boss or something like that. Maybe not like a world boss or some high complexity dungeon, but a bit more group oriented gameplay with this Ranger Showcase instead of just Steven clearing out a zone of Minotaurs or clearing out a castle of zombies because we've only really seen minotaurs, zombies, and human NPCs. I want to see a bit more of what the Riverlands has. I know it's alpha and a lot of these guys are probably going to be added later and some are probably placeholder. Some may not be, but give us more in depth of the exploration of Vera. That is why I loved the caravan stream because you could feel the exploration of the world. You weren't just standing in one isolated area. You were going through a bit on the map, taking part in different areas, doing different things. And I, it really made the world feel together. And I want the same thing with the range. I don't want them to just clear out one zone and be done with it. I want to see them progress through some of the Riverlands and show us a bit more of what that region has to offer. Beyond the Ranger, though, there is also the Alpha 2 quarter announcement date, which I'm calling it right now. My prediction is quarter two, probably towards mid to late quarter two, but we're not going to get that time frame this announcement, I don't think. We're just going to get the rough quarter in a three month time span to really give us an idea of when we can play Ashes of Creation. So if you are looking to take it off from work, just take the entire three months off. You'll get the alpha in there somewhere. But I'm hoping with this announcement, it's not just, hey, the quarter's this set. I'm hoping we get a little bit of a teaser 
trailer, some sort of trailer, a bit more than we got. We got a teaser for the announcement of 2024, but with no gameplay, I'm hoping we get a bit more of a teaser, maybe showcasing us some things that we haven't seen, maybe another biome, giving us something of an expectation of what Alpha 2 is going to be. Because a quarter announcement is huge. It's not a set in date, but it's still a pretty closed off time frame of 2024. And I think we're getting to a point where Intrepid needs to start ramping up and showing the people who aren't tuning in to the monthly live streams what Alpha 2 is going to be about, what we can expect when we first jump into it. And I'm hoping we get a glimpse of that with this announcement. Uh, this could just be the copium talking. I could be way out there in the field, but I really, really want to see like a teaser of like, hey, th these are the three biomes we're going to see. Show some gameplay in each of the three biomes. Maybe show a bit of artisan crafting and questing and things like that. But the last thing that I'm really hoping to drop is Intrepid said that we would be seeing a launcher update for us Alpha 1 members in the next few weeks. As of making this video, I've checked that hasn't happened yet, but I'm hoping that launcher means something a bit more significant sooner rather than later, perhaps with allowing us for the holidays to play around with the character creator that we know is going to be something we get before Alpha 2 launches, and it'd be a great end of the year send off saying, hey, Here's a character creator, mess around with it for the next few weeks until January comes around and we get back to it. That would be an awesome thing for Intrepid to do. It would be pretty cool. I'd love to see it. I don't know if it's actually going to happen or if that's going to be in the next few months leading up through spot testing a bit more, but I'm really hoping deep down that we're going to see that. That really, I think, depends on how they're designing the character creator. If it's just going to be, for now, a save file, not something that's server-wide or needs the servers to be online, then I think it will work great because Intrepid has gone from December 22nd till January 2nd. There's nobody in the studio. They're not going to turn the servers on. Don't expect spot testing after next Friday. I don't think it's going to happen. There really seems to be no way that would because nobody is going to be in office there away from the holiday. But if the character creator can be played without these servers online, maybe that's something they're willing to share. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for the updated Ranger reveal? What do you want to see from it in the live stream? Let me know in the comments below. The live stream is next Tuesday, if you didn't know, at 2 p.m. Eastern time, not on Friday because Intrepid is not there. So it's a bit earlier, and then we have a nice long six, seven week span before we get a live stream after that. So I really need that character creator, you know? I need my ashes fixed. I don't want to wait six weeks for another live stream. It's crazy. But anyways, let me know in the comments your thoughts, and as always, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.